In my experience, there are two kinds of people. Um, one kind of person shows up in a situation and assesses that situation by looking at all the constraints, the limitations, the barriers. These are people who come to a situation and say, well, they won't let me do this. In other words, these are people who orient themselves by describing barriers and constraints and limitations. There are other people who will come into exactly the same set of circumstances and say, hmm, but I could do this, and no one's ever tried that, and gee, maybe we learned something from trying it this way. Those are people who see possibilities. And the ability to see possibilities is what gets you from a clear-eyed assessment of the current problem to actually we could make this better. We actually can change the order of things for the better. So if you can't see that possibility, you're never gonna get started. So often when you talk about this, I'm quick to think, oh, you're talking about optimism. But that's only half of the story. Yeah, it, optimism is important because optimism is the belief that things can be better. And unless we have optimism and hope, <laughs> we don't make any progress. On the other hand, you can't solve a problem without clear-eyed realism. And so seeing possibilities is not the same as seeing the world through rose-colored glasses, not at all. You have to be clear-eyed and realistic about what is the current state of the situation that I'm in. And seeing possibilities is to say, yes, I believe things can be better and I'm gonna take the steps necessary to make sure they are better.